You know them all, Jose Ebert, Justice Clarence Thomas, John Paul DeJoria of the Paul Mitchell Hair Products Line, and musicians David Foster and Paula Anka. And the secret to life transformation, author Julie Kristen highlights these compelling stories of these people and others who rose above adverse circumstances to create extraordinary lives. Julie, this book is so needed, especially during these times. Why did you write it? Thank you, Pat. Well, you know, it always begins at home, and I needed to radically transform my own life. And as I built a career from really the most extraordinary circumstances of, of a communist regime and health crises and all sorts of issues, I came to a certain place, and for many years I was a ghostwriter of statements and global tycoons, and I told their stories the way they wanted them to be told. But I always wanted to tell the truth. Your story. And so we, when we came to a place of truth, how these people did it, where they came from, what was in their heart, what was their mindset, what was in their spirit, what did they believe, who did they believe in, and how did they accomplish it. And now that we're going through such challenging times, such difficult circumstances, where you're trying to keep your job, your home, mm. keep your kids on the straight and narrow, it's tough going. This book was needed for this time, and that's why I wrote it. And you interviewed about 300 people yeah. all over the world for all this, over the right? World. I spent seven weeks at home. <laughs> Girl, I don't know Last how you made year. that happen, but you uh, did it. It was brutal, but I did it. And all over the United States, and people from all walks of life, I wanted to prove that it doesn't matter where you came from, what your circumstances were, what your environment was. If you had a vision for your life, you can and you will make that vision a reality. And you found 12 people that yeah. you focused on. Yeah. How did you do it? Tremendous, and how did you pick those 12? Tremendous diversity and authenticity. I always quote Jacqueline Jakes, who said something and I love fabulous. Jacqueline who Jakes, doesn't by love Jacqueline way. Jakes? <laughs> who doesn't love Bishop Jakes? Are you kidding? Exactly. But uh, she said, I do not take too seriously the advice of people who have not been severely tested. Mm -hmm. We have diet books for people who've never been fat. <laughs> you know, and we, how can you tell me how to lose weight if you haven't been there? We have get rich quick books by people who never made money except selling their books. And we couldn't tell you how to change your life if we didn't t take you to a place of truth with people who've been there done that and you've been there and done that uh -huh. you grew up as you said before in Lugos Yugoslavia yeah. 12 years old you were diagnosed with a very serious illness yes, scoliosis what did that experience do for your life it was How a radical curvature of the spine mm -hmm. but if I can go back a little bit I was born in a very rural part of the former communist Yugoslavia most of my relatives have been murdered they either mm -hmm. died of disease or starvation one of my grandfather was, was tortured and buried alive. Mm. The second one was cut up to pieces, roasted and fed to dogs because they had a faith. They didn't want to denounce their God and their reality. And, and, and what opportunities and privileges do we have and what are we going to do with them? So we were granted political asylum in the United States and then I became deathly ill. Mm -hmm. But through that time, spending a year in bed uh, in a body cast, having undergone a radical procedure, I mapped out the entire course of my life. And you were 12 years old. I was 12. It doesn't matter how old you are. You're never too young or too old because your spirit is set. And mm -hmm. something you mentioned earlier to me was talking about fear. Yeah. There are a lot of people, they know what they need to do. Mm -hmm. It's inside of them. It's burning inside of them. Mm -hmm. But they're scared. They're scared. scared to come out of their yeah. comfort zone. What kind of advice do you have for people that they know what it is, but they just don't know how to get there? Assess your life the way it is and say, did I come on this earth? to live the way I am living right now for the rest of my life. Am I so happy and content that at the end of the day I will be pleased with the way it's lived out? And what you're going to, uh, to attempt, and you will accomplish if you stay the course, is that so much worse mm. than what you're going through right now, what you will endure in the years and the decades ahead? Julie, what is the secret? The ultimate secret for me is knowing where I came from, who has the power, who gets the glory and whose is the kingdom? That's oh, the ultimate right. secret. <laughs> wow, I love it. I love you. you. I appreciate you. <laughs> I am you. reading the book and it is amazing. Thank you're, you for what you're doing. You're wonderful. Thank you. Julie's book is on sale at bookstores now. If you can find one, it's selling like crazy. <laughs> for information, please visit my website at treasureyou.org. And don't forget to treasure you this week.